a few years ago I did a, the Master of Fine Arts by Research at College of Fine Arts where I uh, started to research the idea of matter painting. Matter painting is European painting movement which stemmed out of uh, France. It was pioneered by uh, John Frottier, John de Buffet primarily, and also the French photographer Brassai. During the course of that uh, thesis I also started to research the Australian adaptation of matter painting and I was exposed to uh, the artist uh, and critic Erwin Lin, who um, was a prime influence uh, in my um, early days in matter painting. I also was exposed to uh, artists uh, such as Thomas Gleghorn and the Melbourne-based painter Peter Clark. The use of alternative painting media started to be employed in their practice. However, the, the funny distinction with matter painting in Australia is that it became um, a landscape uh, uh, pursuit. The aesthetic was actually adopted uh, to interpret the Australian landscape. Unlike the European uh, painting movement, which was more so akin to a form of protest, especially in uh, John de Buffet's case, um, and also Brasso in his photography where he was capturing uh, images of protest on walls from local Parisians that were uh, engaged uh, or occupied by German forces during the Second World War. The uh, influences which um, started to surround my original ideas of using materiality are born from an actual urban environment. I started to look into walls and the ideas of use and age and weathering which is um, encapsulated in these sort of subjects. Uh, for me, probably the most um, joyous visual uh, aesthetic is the nature of rain or rain that's drying on concrete on the sidewalks. I think that that's probably one of the most beautiful things in the urban environment. In addition to that is the overplay of the, uh, of the oil paint. There's almost a sense of an apology, I guess, where the original layer of the actual surface itself is hidden and the the oil paint is almost an apology for using this sort of this method of uh, expression. But it's taken years of experimentation to actually find a level of cohesion where these two mediums can happily meet. And uh, I think this is actually this form of work is actually probably the the basis of this um, well the synthesis of uh, of this new new departure in my in my practice. Topologies itself can be referred to a particular branch of mathematics which explores the idea of space and the interconnectedness between spaces. It can also be, uh, also has a resonance to environmental concerns. There's a certain network, there's a, there's a level of cohesion or planning, but there's also a level of connectedness. Touching on the idea of environmental impacts, I also started to look into the idea of lichen. Lichen is a particular algae which grows in certain conditions and depending on the environmental impact surround, surrounding the growth of lichen, it changes its colour and it also changes its, its growth and it, it actually dawned on me that there was actually a topological map in the way how lichen itself is growing. A lot of the impetus behind these paintings is coming from the study of lichen and also the idea of uh, topologies.